Hello friends, this is Two Minutes in Luke. In our section today, Luke 17 verse 20 through chapter 19 verse 10, I want to address first of all the parables on prayer. We have the story of a widow who pesters a judge until he finally grants her request. It's a story that encourages us to persevere in our prayers. Now what Jesus tells us after he tells this story is that God's patience is greater than any judge who neither fears God nor respects people, and that God's response to our prayers will be faster for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night for his help. God's mercy and long suffering are not in doubt, never in question, but are there any among us who cry out to him day and night? Will the Son of Man find faith on earth? Then we have the prayers of a Pharisee and a tax agent. The religious leader brags on himself and what he has done and congratulates God on having such a fine servant. Then he has the gall to remind God of the deficiency of the tax agent just in case God had not noticed. In contrast to him, we have the humble tax agent who cannot even lift his eyes to the heavens. He pleads for mercy, knowing full well that he has nothing to offer God that would obligate him to answer his prayers. These two stories do more than remind us that prayer is a theme in Luke. They show us why prayer is a theme in Luke. For Luke, prayer is faith in action. It's not an optional exercise in piety carried out to demonstrate one's relationship with God. It is that relationship with God. And the way one prays reveals that relationship. If the disciples do not cry out day and night to the Lord, then they in fact do not have faith, for that is what faith does. Also, Prayer is not asserting ourselves before God as the Pharisee did. It's motivated by the reminder that we have no righteousness of our own, that we need the righteousness that God is willing to give us purely as a gift, and that we too desperately need God's mercy. Now regarding the rich young ruler, Jesus asks him to give up his possessions, that is, to strip himself of his security and protection and join the ranks of those who must rely entirely on the mercy of God, like little children. The question is, are we willing to do what the ruler was unwilling to do? And before I close, I just must say a word about the blind beggar who was healed and Zacchaeus. Jesus shows love and acceptance to these two men both of whom are outcasts of the people. Isn't that just like our Lord, who was a friend of the looked down upon? And again, the question is, is that like us? And Zacchaeus? Why, he is a contrast to the rich young ruler. Both were wealthy, but Zacchaeus is willing to dispose of his possessions in order to follow Jesus. Luke and our Lord would like to know, are we as willing to do the same?